So it's heating up pretty good here in California, van life, summer edition. And we would really like to keep our doors open so we don't die. So today, Diane and I are going to attempt to make a van life bug screen the cheapest and easiest way possible. Now I've seen other people buy the these magnetic door screen thingies that you put in just normal doors and they adjust it for their van. But the problem is when you're already on the road, it's hard to receive these if you buy them on Amazon or somewhere because they're, the dimensions are too big for the Amazon lockers. So we had to buy just this regular bug screen that did fit in the locker and I'll link to this below. We'll let you know how it goes. And basically we're going to put a screen on this door here right next to our office so that we can work with a nice fresh breeze. Guys, if I can do this, anyone can do this. So let's get started. Now obviously every van is a little bit different on how you're going to be able to hang these things so you're going to have to open up your doors and see how exactly you would do it. For us it's a little bit trickier than like a normal metal cargo van because normally you can just like hang things with magnets on the inside here but you can see we have just wood and fabric and so there's not very any good places to hang stuff so we're going to do it on the outside. But basically anything we're doing today, you can just apply to your own van and you might have to modify things just a little bit. All right, so step one is measuring. Basically, we want to cut this fabric so that it, there's, a, it, there's an opening right here so we can open it and go in and out and not have to take the magnets off every single time. And so we're going to make sure that we have a couple of extra inches on this side and on this side and then a couple inches overlapping so Diane can sew in the magnets on the center. So after some struggles with some mathematics between me and Diane, we realized that we have just enough to cover this door and we have to cut the long way in half exactly and hope that it fits. So we're really scared of cutting this material because we don't have extra. So we're just gonna put the magnets and then, you know. Cut it to size while it's on the magnets. I hope it works. We don't trust in our measuring skills. So this stuff is definitely easier to cut if you had a nice table and space and maybe a good light. Um, we had trouble cutting it straight with us just holding it in the middle of the air. But if you go slowly with patience, you can make it work. Why, hello there. So now we got these things more or less cut to size. And if you wanted to do the lazy route, you may not even need to put the magnets on the inside of these to make it close because it closes pretty good by itself. As long as you have some overlap between the two sides, it, I think you will probably be covered. But Diane wants to make things fancy, so she is going to fold this part over a little bit on each side and then put little magnets, sew in little magnets on each side so that when the doors close, they close with a magnet like that. So let's see what she can do. All right, for all you guys that don't know how to sew, like me, first you need to make a big knot at one end of the thread because these little holes in the bug screen are a little bit big. So you need to make a knot so it doesn't go all the way through. Then on the other end of the thread, you put the needle. Dirty hands. Dirty hands. Diane made me show this part because her hands are too dirty and she was embarrassed. <laughs> Then here's what you do. Come here, Diane. So we folded the screen over a little bit and we're going to put the magnet on the inside. 
of the screen. And we're gonna leave a little bit of space overlapping so that it makes sure that it closes all the way. And so we have a little bit of space. And then now we just go in one side. Can you see? We just go in one side all the way through and then turn it around and go out the other side and pull it through. So you do that all around the magnet. You do that all around the magnet a bunch of times. The more times you do it, ow, poked myself. Okay. Ow, ow. Let me do it. You don't know okay. how to do anything. <laughs> so it's just like this and you go all the way around the magnet and there you have it. Sewing 101. Okay, moment of truth. Let's try it. Da, na, na, na. Wow. Look at that. Good job, Diane. Look at Beautiful work. So, the key to making this work is to get these really super strong magnets and I'll link to them below. And in this part in the middle, we put two of them on top of each other. So it's super strong. So then when you open it, it doesn't fall off and you can just go inside and snaps back. Well done. High five. Yeah. <clears throat> Diane also added a couple of these magnets at the very bottom of the screen here because it gives a little bit of extra weight to this material. Otherwise, it, it's kind of a little bit floppy and it, there can be holes down there. So she added some magnets for weight and this also sticks to the metal at the bottom of the frame of the van. So the total cost for all of these materials, the bug screen, the big magnets, and the small magnets is about the same or just a couple bucks more than buying the magic screen you can get on Amazon. But there are three benefits to doing this way. First of all, the pre-made ones you can get on Amazon aren't gonna be fit to size, and these ones are fit to the exact size of your van. The second reason is if you're on the road, the pre-made ones don't fit in the Amazon lockers, and so if you don't have an address to ship them to, you're out of luck, but with these materials, they all fit in the locker. And the third reason is when you buy all these magnets, you're gonna have extra magnets, both the big and the small ones, and these come in super handy in your van, as you can see, over here on our ugly van, we hung up all our wet clothes on the outside instead of hanging on the inside. And so they come in super handy and you should probably buy them anyways. And the last bonus advantage to these ones is this material folds super easily. And so you can just fold it on top of each other and it's really small and you can pack it in right on the inside or wherever you want it to and it doesn't take up any space. Guys, if we can do it, seriously, we are the least handy people, at least I am. I don't know about Diane. I am handy. Diane's handy. If we can do it, you can do it. Give us a like, subscribe if you want more van live videos, and we'll see you in the next one.